so from 67, when I started uh, biology till 1976 at the Pasteur Institute, I worked on E. coli as I still do, in molecular genetics, and in 1973, I started uh, co-developing genetic engineering, and we used a lot of exgal on colonies for beta-gal detection. However, beta-galactosidase was only an indicator gene. In 1976, after two years in the States, it happens I was just located doing genetic engineering under another uh, floor at the Pasteur Institute where Jean Bussier was spending one or two years. Uh, and he was the API kit inventor. And he was again working on the same system after the API was already invented, which I would call multi-tube kits, as you know very well, which gives the identification result at day two. So I proposed him to detect E. coli on colonies using beta-glucuronidase, now as an identification enzyme. I felt that exgal should be extended to other chromogenic concepts, and I went to Bakem, California, who was our provider of exgal, which at that time I was buying by 100 grams for the whole institute. And I said, couldn't you make an exglu, beta-glu, or an exacetate, or an exphosphate, or an ex-beta-glucuronate? I think it's this sequence, but I'm not sure. So in 1979, I patented uh, the idea of E. coli, and nobody was interested at that time. I wrote to every company, including Kodak, including BD, etc. Nobody was interested. But the concept was there. Then 10 years later, this is just because I went back, or I continued on uh, genetic engineering, I restarted with the Ramba Kagar in 1991, Chromegar E. coli in 1993, and a few more. Just to finish, uh, 1954, Lederberg has the ID. But you know, Lederberg was quite a guy. He got the Nobel Prize at 26 years to show that something wrong, that E. coli had several chromosomes, but essentially it was not far from truth. Then 25 years later, I started technically by doing this E. coli patent. Then nothing happened for another 10 years. Then I started the commercial start. And now after 20 years of work, only 5% of the media are chromogenic. Still 95% of uh, microbiological media are traditional. So a total of 55 years.